The constitution empowers members of parliament who are people's representatives to play their oversight responsibility by assessing and evaluating activities of government. And all the laws enacted after the 1995 constitution must be in conformity with the provisions of the Supreme Law. However, the proposed oil exploration, development and production bill is silent about parliament's role in the sector. Now the lawmakers sitting on the Natural Resources Committee who are scrutinizing the oil bills are pushing for amendments to provide for oversight powers to parliament in the managing the sector. The MPs want the president to take the role of appointing board of members of the National Oil Authority, who they say must be vetted by parliament. It is a proposal that the minister appoints the board. Uh, the, the views that the president should appoint the, 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 the Petroleum Authority board with the approval of parliament. So somehow, somewhere, parliament should actually be involved. Uh, the argument of the committee is that uh, uh, there is no, in any way, role of parliament mentioned at all, explicitly. The bill in its current form empowers the minister in charge of the oil sector with the majority of the powers. They say trimming the minister's powers will provide checks and balances as to avoid any further abuse of the sector. We must remove <laughs> 74 plus 3 because there is a problem and a danger that it might actually cause someone losing his, head, his or her head. Exactly. So a big removal from society. Yeah, yeah. really, in, in, in essence, to leave no room for abuse of uh, office. The MPs have also refused to include provisions in the Oil Exploration, Development and Production Bill that grants Ugandans an opportunity to own shares in the oil company. They want the oil company to be fully owned by the government of Uganda as for now. Therefore, if this resource is being held in trust of the people of Uganda, therefore, a business company that is going to manage the resource on behalf of the people of Uganda, we should be able to actually have the state own 100% shares in the first place. The committee had received proposals to allow Ugandans buy shares in the National Oil Company. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.